This is a sound that she would make if she saw somebody behind the fence walking along. It's a stranger, I think. It's a stranger encroaching on territory. The results of McClosey's research are remarkable. It's proved there's incredibly strong agreement between people about what different barks mean. Overall, in the study, you could say that uh, people can discriminate six barks, and most of them were quite successful in this. Dr. McClosey has developed a system to analyze the barks. It's helped him decode how dogs communicate meaning. I have measured uh, three features of this sound. Uh, one was the frequency, the other was the tonality, and the third was the interval between the barking sounds. And probably this is also what the judgment of people is based when they are describing the bark in terms of emotional content. But what's more surprising is not our ability to interpret the barks, but what it reveals about dogs. In the natural world, Dogs' wild relatives don't really bark. Amazingly, it seems that during the course of domestication, dogs may have evolved their elaborate vocal repertoire, especially to communicate with us. At the basic level, everyone can do it, and, and there is a good chance that barking is a very good means to communicate with humans.